Hey everybody, welcome to Draw Sessions. So today is going to be part two of me pulling back the curtains on my professional work that I've done in the industry. So those of you that don't know, I am a character and creature concept artist for video games, television, commercials, and film. And today we are going to be looking at something that is, uh, it was even a little outside of my comfort zone because Usually I focus on scary beasts and things that are not nice, but free range visual effects and Hi-Fi 3D contacted me about three years ago to do some father and son turtle concepting for their Geico motorhome commercial. And this was a fun project and I jumped at the chance because one, I don't really get a chance to draw cute things. Most of my stuff is pretty scary, demonic, beastly alien things from other planets, but Every now and then I get asked to do some more tamed, cute things. And I said, yeah, this will be awesome. I'm a father myself. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old. So my oldest right now at the time, you know, he, he was two years old. Okay, borderline three years old. So I thought, yeah, this is going to be fun to do. So what I have displayed up here is condensed version of all the sketches that I had done for free range visual effects. So the art director is David Hoolan. They're based out of New York City. And the concept was come up with a cute child turtle and an older looking father for a turtle. So here were some of the sketches that I had started off with just to get something kind of cool looking going for the dad. I believe that was the dad because the they wanted an adolescent version and then something like really, really young. This over here on the right was an older version. So as you can tell, the the cheeks were a little puffier. I put some wrinkles in the face and also the skin tone. You know, I, I added some value on there, some slight wrinkles. You know, as, as people age, our skin tends to get blotchier, etc. Now, these aren't human. However, we had to personify them in somewhat to make the commercial work. So that's what I did. So this was the dad up here. Okay, and this was the child up here. And then the next step was to get some facial expressions and get some personality going. Now, when we started sketching the faces, we wanted to make sure that the snout was recognizable for both the kid and the adult. Now you'll notice up here in the upper left, and let me just take that layer out so it's not distracting and I'll just, I'll just add a new layer in get a sharper brush here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so you can see here the the roundness of sketch number one. And then this is tapered down a little bit. And then this is really pronounced. So it's almost like a three, a three step process going on. So there are subtle changes within the head also. So you can tell that in sketch number one over here on the left. So we'll do one, two, three. You'll notice that the forehead is pretty straight. All right, and then the eyebrows here. And then we did a version where it's slightly more rounded. And then this one was more angular. So we have angle number one, angle number two, and angle number three. Ultimately, they liked the, the, the roundness. They liked this one, but they also liked the flat version. And I was kind of happy they went with that too. And up here, you can tell you know, some different versions also where we made the face shorter, we made it uh, longer, and then we also played with some of the eyeball shapes too. And the eyeball shapes were a lot of fun because that's where the majority of the emotion was going to come out for the both the father and the son. And over here, and you'll you'll notice the in the commercial because there's a there's a link in the description I'm going to leave for the actual commercial. So here was the dad looking around just to give a sense of the different angles of the head. I put some wrinkles in the mouth because, you know, like whenever cartoon drawings of old people are seen on the screen, they kind of take the teeth away, but they they give that that funny old person wrinkled look. OK, and that's basically what we had to do. And up here in the upper left, it was a. Uh, just a facial expression. It wasn't used in the actual commercial that you'll see, but we need to see these types of things because in any kind of character work, you don't really know what angles the animator and the director and everything are, are going to have to work with. 
here, this is this is a face that they ultimately liked and we kind of blew it up. So that was number one over here. Ton of fun. I loved doing this project. And then this was just a little sketch scene of, you know, father and son talking. Now in the commercial, you'll see, you know, the motorhome parked and then they they start talking and then there's a bird feather. I think it's a vulture. <laughs> so they have to be kind of careful with it. But um, that's it folks. And this process probably took about a week and a half. Commercial work is a little different than both games and films. So video games, you have a long time to work on something. Movies, you don't have a long time to work on something, but they need things to look pristine, rendered, and just all decked out with color and, and all of that stuff. Commercial work, it's kind of like a nice mixture of the two. You have to work quickly, but you also get a little bit more time to just scribble and, and ideate and such. Um, if you guys liked this format, you know, me talking about commercials and, and movies and such, comment below, give it a like. I, I love reading the comments because it kind of gives me an insight on what you all like to see and new reboot of my channel progresses. Uh, I just want to make sure I show the content that, that everybody loves and that I also like producing. If you like this work also, one more thing, I've linked part one of my series of professional work where I go over my work in the Netflix movie, The Sea Beast, where I design all the creatures. So if you like that format, please give it a like, comment, and uh, I'll see you all later. Thanks.